In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a wobbly sub bass in Vital. There will be a link in the description of this video where you can download this preset for free along with nine other presets for Vital. This is what the preset is gonna sound like. What's up my producer friends, I'm David with anothermonsterproductions.com. If you don't know, Vital is a new free wavetable synthesizer by Matt Titel, and you can download the synth for free by going to vital.audio. There's also a couple paid versions as well. Also, if you're confused about anything I'm talking about during this tutorial, you may wanna check out my introduction to synthesis and sound design videos. That should help you understand this stuff a lot better. And without further ado, let's get straight into it. All right, so when we first load up Vital, you should already have an initialized preset, but if you've been messing with this synth, in order to get back to the initialized preset, you just need to go up here, right click, and go to initialize preset. This will get us a blank slate. Now, the first thing that I wanna do is go up here, and let's go to our basic shapes. I'm just gonna scroll through this until I get to a square wave, which should sound like this. Now let's go over here to the pitch, and I'm gonna bring this down two octaves, which is negative 24 semitones. So that's gonna get us a really dirty bass. And then I wanna go over here to the number of voices. We're gonna bring this up to nine. And I'm gonna bring this uh, detune amount down to 11%. Nice. Now I wanna go down here. I'm gonna click this and we're gonna to go to phase disperse. And then I'm gonna bring this down Sounds cool. Anyway, I'll bring this all the way down, and then we can go down here, turn on oscillator two, and again, I'm gonna go to my basic shapes, and we're just gonna leave that as a sine wave. Once again, let's go up here. We're gonna bring this down another two octaves, so negative 24. So next, I wanna go down here to my filter one. Let's go ahead and turn that on. And I'm gonna go up here, and I wanna go to phaser. We're gonna leave this on positive, and then I'm gonna bring the resonance down all the way to 0%. And then let's take a listen to this. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna leave this about here, 25 semitones, roughly. And then I can map an LFO to the cutoff. And let me just change this to about halfway. So about six o'clock right there. And then maybe turn this down just a little bit. So somewhere in here. And then let's go ahead and turn on filter two. I'm gonna turn it off of oscillator two and turn it on filter one. So that means that filter one is feeding into filter two. Let me go ahead and bring the resonance down. I'm gonna change this to analog 24. So that changes it to a steeper slope there. And that sounds pretty nice. We're getting pretty close. There's a little bit of a click. So I can change that just by bringing this back a little bit. Bring this to like 11. Okay, cool, so that gets rid of that click. Let's move down here and change this to zero uh, to one voice. So that means that only one voice can play at a time. And then I'm gonna change this glide to about, I don't know, 0.040, 40 seconds. Somewhere in there, and then turn that on legato. So that way I can get a little bit of slide action if I want to. Okay, cool, so let's move up to this macro and I'm gonna map this macro to the filter cutoff of filter two. And that way, if I want, I can get this uh, macro to basically control the cutoff so that I can change the sub to sound really dirty, kind of how it did at the beginning of this, so. And I can kind of change the amount here. So just have that as an option for you to mess with if you want. And lastly, let's go ahead and go into our effects tab. We're gonna turn on the compressor. This last step is, I think, probably not necessary, uh, but it was something that I was messing with in the original preset. I think I changed this a little bit, maybe. But mainly just the mix. We wanna kind of bring the mix down. Thank you. 
I actually kind of like it better without the compression, but something you can play with there if you want. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, be sure to hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Don't forget to hit the bell notification. That's gonna let you know anytime I release videos in the future. I do a lot of FL Studio tutorials, but I will be doing more vital sound design tutorials as well in the future. Also, if you're struggling with music production or if you're new to music production and you need some one-on-one -on -one coaching, I do offer private lessons and you can sign up for that on my website. So I'll be sure to leave a link in the description of this video to that if you guys are interested in that. I also do Q and A's in my Discord server every Sunday at 1 p.m. Eastern time. So if you have any production questions and you want to join the Discord and join in the live Q&As, feel free to do that. I'll be sure to leave a link for that as well. Last week, I did do a complete walkthrough of this synth vital. So if you want to check that out, I'll go ahead and put that on the screen now. You can check out that video. Uh, probably put another video on the screen somewhere as well. So check out one of those videos if you're interested, and I will see you guys in the next video.